Hey guys, this is Diane here from Design Creative and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit your continue write reading button with your Headway Themes site. So as you know, when you create a blog post with your Headway Theme site and you display for it to show excerpts, we have this beautiful continue reading button at the end of our text and sometimes that is not how we want our continue reading button to display. Sometimes we might want it on the bottom, in the middle, on the left, on the right right wherever the case may be but we sometimes don't want it where it is and it's pretty hard to change it well not really I'm going to show you in the tutorial how to update that very easily so then you have more control over the design in your projects so first of all what we want to do is click on where it says continue reading and we want to edit the regular elements so that basically means we want to edit every single continue reading button which is on the website if you don't want to do that then you can just click on edit this instance and that will edit the continue reading button just for that block okay but I want to do it for everyone so I'm going to say edit regular element and as you could see here on the right hand side it's kind of popped up and we have continue reading button and I can click on this button here which brings me the uh, code so let me just click out of that for a sec and do that again so here we have our um, code so here it says the block type div entry a more link so this is really easy. The first thing we want to do is say display block. And what that basically means is I, when you saw the button before, it was as an inline block, but now we want it to display as a block. So what it does is it has its own little div and it displays it as a full width block. Okay. Now that is way too wide for what we want. So basically another thing we can do is we can specify the width of our button. So I'm going to do that now by saying width, mm, let's say uh, 20%. Okay. Now, as you could see, the width of the button is now 20%. We can change it if we want to to 30%, 40%, however big that we might want it. I'm going to choose 20%. Now, if you take a closer look at the text, you can see that the continue reading text is still kind of left aligned. So we can fix that by going into here and choosing text align center. Oops. And that now centers the text. So no matter whether I choose 20% or 40% or 50%, it will always uh, uh, align that text to the center. We can also add some padding on the top, I think. So I'm gonna give it a five pixel padding on the top and the sides. That looks okay how it is, okay? So already we have added our continue reading block away from the text and if we have a look at the rest of them you could see now that they are all the same. Now let's try to move it away from the text a little bit more. So I'm going to put a margin top of let's say 15 pixels and there we have it, a completely separate continue reading button and if I press save and I review how this looks you could see it just looks looks so much better, right? Okay, so just imagine that you've decided that you want a more of a featured kind of look for your website. So let me go back into the grid view and I'm gonna say, say we want a more of a magazine type layout for our, web, for our website. So let me just scroll this down. Let me get rid of this footer block and get rid of this widget block because we don't need it. So I've got a content block here and I want this to feature one um, one, one uh, blog post. So I'm going to go to custom query and I'm going to choose here where it says number of posts to one. I'm going to press save, see what that looks like in the browser. So now we have one post. I'm also going to get rid of this bit here where it says older posts as well. So let me click on display and get rid of these buttons here. Let's press save, refresh, and those buttons have gone. Okay. Underneath it, I now want to put three columns. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to just move that up here and I'm going to duplicate this block. Let's move this down, bring this down here. 
I'm going to open the block options and in the custom query, I'm going to change my offset to one and I'm going to put number of posts, let's say 10. And here where it says display, I'm going to enable my column layout. And I'm going to put three. Now let's press save and I'm going to refresh. And unfortunately I have a featured uh, content here, but you could see here I've got three underneath, right? Right. So let me just get rid of this featured post. You can see here we've got the featured post on. If I press that at a zero and press save, if I refresh this now, we now have our featured post on the top and we have our four, our, our, the rest of our blog posts underneath. Now you could see that this design um, kind of works, kind of doesn't work because now we have our continue reading button down here at 70%, but it doesn't actually cover the whole continue reading button uh, either. So what I might want to do as well is I might want to center some of this and I might want to get rid of some of this meta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, get rid of the meta, make sure that I can show my posts so it's a single. Just going to clean it up a little bit so it looks a little bit more better. Okay. And I want to center. Um, the whole, all of this, um, I want to center the whole block. Do I want to center the whole block? Yes, let's center the whole block. So what I can do is I can go to responsive control and I can choose the very large screen setting and I can attempt to center the block items that way. If I refresh, you can see everything is centered apart from the button. Okay, I might want to do the same for up here as well. So if I copy this, go to responsive control, very large screen, attempt to center items is checked. If I refresh, again, the button just kind of sits to the left hand side. So how we can fix that is really easy. We'll go back into our design. And here, where we have the continue reading button, uh, what we want to do, okay, let's see, we'll select all of them, so edit regular element. In fact, let's bring up the uh, the code block here. And what we want to do is we want to add this. Just above where it says margin top, we want to add margin zero auto. And as you can see, the text has now been pushed to the center. Can you see? It's all being pushed to the center. Now, this block down here, the reading button needs its own styling. So what we would do is we would edit this instance. Let's show the elements again. Let's edit this instance. Let's bring this one up here. And the width, we can specify our own width again. So maybe we'll say 50%. Okay. And now if we press save and we refresh and we have a look at our site, the continue reading button now sits underneath. Okay. So that is basically it for this tutorial. Um, you can if you want as well. If you don't want the text, but you only want the button to align, um, you can just go to open block options and let's take off this attempt to center anything. Let's just save that and refresh. You can see even with the uh, text not aligned to the center, we can still align this button to the center no matter what we use okay so that is it for this tutorial if you have any questions please let me know leave a comment below and i will see you soon bye